Most hot tub owners don't realize this, but over 99% of the bacteria inside the hot tub is not suspended in the water and it's not stuck to the shell of the hot tub. It's actually on the inside of the plumbing lines, uh, buried in a layer of biofilm or a type of bacteria that grows in hot tubs. The, the biofilm creates a protective layer over the bacteria so the chlorinated water uh, can't get, get to the bacteria to, to remove it and to neutralize it and it causes these persistent um, bacterial blooms in the water and you'll notice that you, you have biofilm if a, you develop a rash even though you're using uh, sanitizers in the water um, but you'll also notice it if you use an unusually large amount of sanitizer and you put it in your bromine or chlorine regularly and you still notice that it, you just can't seem to maintain your bromine or chlorine levels this could be a result of a, a persistent bacterial bloom as a result of biofilm and it's critically important that before you drain your hot tub, so in your dirty hot tub water, every three months you should put a line flush into the water. Uh, this is a product that's available at any hot tub or pool store, and it's designed to uh, be circulated in the system. So you would put this line flush into your water following the directions on the bottle, and it's usually going to indicate that you run your hot tub jets for as much as two hours on maximum. Just run everything in your hot tub. Turn on all the jets and, and make sure everything's wide open and circulate the system on full for a couple of hours and this will help to strip the biofilm from inside the, the lines so that you can actually get a fresh start with your, your hot tub when you refill it uh, and avoid having uh, persistent bacteria transferred from old water right into your new hot tub water.